I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins with the opening market minute for Thursday, July 11th. Soybeans, corn, and wheat are all seeing some early gains, basically oversold and due for a bounce while getting ready for tomorrow's USDA supply, demand, and production numbers. Soybeans and corn continue to monitor development weather in the United States. Overall, things remain favorable, but there are some areas of concern. Essentially, there are some questions about some long-term damage from flooding in parts of the northwestern Midwest and Plains, and uh, some early impact from hot, dry conditions in portions of the southern and eastern Corn Belt. Still, again, on the balance, things look pretty good right now for both corn and soybeans. As for wheat, it's also oversold and due for a bounce, keeping an eye on world prices, which have been in decline lately, led by Russia. That's not helping U.S. wheat on the export market. Live and feeder cattle are higher, seeing an oversold bounce there as well with a little bit of technical support. That's despite some unfriendly fundamentals from yesterday with direct cash cattle business lower than a week ago on both the live and the dressed basis and a lower move in box beef. Meanwhile, hogs are lower, ignoring yesterday's modestly higher move in the pork carcass cutout value with pork export sales sharply lower than a week ago and some long-term demand uncertainties domestically. With the opening market minute for Thursday, July 11th, I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins. Stay tuned for this afternoon's update.